day number three. Uh, I had a pretty good night, except on a certain stage there was an animal running full speed towards my tent and kind of taking a stop just straight before the tent turned around and ran away. It a bit scared me off for a while. I realized how alone you really are out in the desert with uh, all kind of creatures. But um, I don't think it was any bad. But this morning I realized that I made a big mistake yesterday. I lost my sunglasses. Oh, uh, four more days to go to Lordsburg in the desert. Uh, I hope to find one there. Uh, with a light backpack like this, if you go really light, it's it's so important to take care about every single piece of equipment. Many of the equipment pieces has multifunctional uh, purposes. Um, yeah, but let me speak about equipment a little bit more in another video. Anyway, I'm moving on. Beautiful day. Comfortable temperature right now for hiking. Angeling. Stove. Sun cream. Kind of sun burn really. A little bit cold. Next water source, guys. Oops, son. I didn't mean to disturb you, but I really need to get some water. Yeah, it's now one o'clock, middle of the day. The biggest heat on the way in, so. I used to make a stop and have lunch, relax, really take a long siesta. Mostly like it's getting easier like half past four or four in the afternoon again. Uh, depending on how far I have to go, I kind of leave earlier or later. I'm actually here by the water source. Uh, Together with some cows, it's sort of a constant fight against dirt. You just can't help your dirty. Oop! Let's see my jelly pad. Yeah, and the feet are very okay. I really don't have blisters. So, ooh. yeah, and even otherwise, I really, really feel good. It's, um, there is some pain in knee, but very regular one, which I know very well. And the food, it seems it's not really getting better, but I don't think it gets worse. So I'm very happy actually. Good morning, day number four. Beautiful morning again. We had a great sunrise. Uh, I had a good night's sleep in straight by a water cache. Uh, 
I catched up there to yesterday night a bit earlier than normally but I really want to stick to my short mileage days. Yesterday afternoon somewhere in a sandy riverbed really kicked in this so-called hiker hunger that you just could start eating constantly. I was a bit surprised. Normally it hits maybe after one week, two, depends. Anyway, it hit me and I just couldn't stop eating. So I started to be worried that I have to go quicker to Lordsburg just because of the food. I really gave too much to the Mexicans. Um, but anyway, I catched up in the evening with the first hiker I met on this trail, Rapid Food. We had a beautiful chat and good for me, he had too much food with him. Sun is shining again, but a bit more cooler this morning, which I really enjoy. Uh, I'm ready to go. See you in a bit. So I'm approaching the next water source. It looks like it's a water tank this time. Um, it's sort of different ways how we get water down here in the desert. There is two kinds of water sources, kind of what the locals use as well for a certain reason. And then we speak about water caches which are water storages uh, supplied by some volunteers from the region and uh, they just take care that uh, the hikers have got water in areas which are no regular possibility to get it. Yeah, this is a huge water tank. I can hear the water already running. Uh, yeah, the tanks here are because there is a lot of cows in this area. Like we have seen, look at that, wow, cool. Oh, wow, it's leaking. It's leaking from a screw. That's why it's so green everywhere here. I get it. Wow, cool. And this water looks pretty clean, but I'm not sure if it is. Sometimes they have like a windmill to get the water up from the ground. And this is a sign that it's really completely clean, but here there is no windmill. So I'm a bit unsure how clean it is. For filtering the water, I have this kind of Sawyer water filter. So um, with this filter, I'm going to clean now this water. And it's also very important to differ from dirty and clean water. So once you use the bottle or a container as a dirty water container, you really should not uh, use it anymore as a clean one. Uh, right now it's flowing very well. Sometimes it flows a bit worse than the filter is sort of dirty and we sort of have to back flush to get the good flow again. Of course I only want to carry uh, that much water what I need. Uh, it's a bit different out here. Sometimes the water sources or water caches come pretty close to each other. Sometimes it's a longer distance in between. I will check now from my app, the Gato app, what it says, where the next water source, water cache is coming. And then I kind of count how many liters I will need. I count for myself that I need something like 
one liter each five miles. So one li liter each seven and a half to eight kilometers. If you have to walk in the middle of the heat, it needs a bit more. If uh, you hike evenings or early morning, it's less. Yeah, so I'm done with Van der Badl. To know which one is which, I used to have just two different colored taps from the bottles. The quality of the water really differs a lot. Uh, but there is places it's really awfully looking water, full of algae and uh, all kind of other kind of dirt. If I'm really unsure about what's in there, I even sometimes add, after filtering, and I add a, like a chemical tablet to be on the safe side. All right, time to leave this beautiful place again. Very nice, lush and green. And let's take another Maybe five to ten miles before, ah, maybe five miles before the big heat is coming in again. that somebody's following me. This is really quite a hard bit. It's hot. Phone says 36 degrees. Maybe it's not really. I think it's somewhere between 30 and 35. Anyhow, a bit too warm for a Scandinavian. Um, and the ground is sandy, it's, um, even it's almost 4 o'clock, it's still rough.
Good morning. Another day. Day number five. Um, I yesterday I pushed for the first time more than 30 kilometers a day. I didn't plan and wanted to do that, but this area where I'm right now with this very strong wind we had yesterday, it was no place to be. Just just walked on until the wind got a little bit calmer. It normally used to come down to the night. Uh, and just when I got settled and wanted to pitch up the tent, a uh, really big thunderstorm, more or less out of the blue sky, arised together with sandstorm, of course. I just managed to pitch up, pitch up my tent, put the fly on, but uh, I had to hold the tent that it didn't break the poles. Uh, all of the sand entered the tent. Oh, it was a mess. I was pretty busy the whole evening to get not clean, but sort of. Uh, yeah, and um, as a not really experienced YouTuber and filmer, I've got no time to film this yesterday. Anyway, maybe I learn. Uh, for the rest, night I was worried that I will not cope too well with this long distance, but it seems now legs are feeling good. Knee was painful yesterday, very painful. Now it's uh, fine again. So let me see what I'm doing today. It's 20 miles left, 30 kilometers again to Lord Lordsburg, the first street supply stop. Yeah, another thing I learned yesterday, if you're hiking in shorts in the desert, don't sit down wherever you want to. There is a lot of cactus, these kind of stitches, needles. I have two beautiful ones in my butt now, which I sort of have to try to get out. It's painful. Um, yeah, you learn. Peace. Found some shade. I made some, maybe some eight, nine miles now this morning. It's soon 10 o'clock, so time for a first snack, some granolas. Uh, as well, time to change for a long sleeved shirt. I really don't like to walk in long sleeved, but in the middle of the day, it's just a must. You get burned everywhere. It feels like uh, to cross 20 miles a day, 30 kilometers a day. Not too good for my knee. I really have strong pain today. But I think I will make it to Lordsburg anyway today. Get some shower. Uh, maybe wash this shirt. I start to be pretty stinky already. Mm. Um, then resupply, and tomorrow morning I will leave again. <laughs> 